YouTube. Good morning, fellas. Ferocious Mictile here. And I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. I am in the most corrupt state in the entire UN, Illinois. And I am approaching downtown Chicago. My kind of town Chicago is. You dig? So, y'all know this is my hometown. And uh, I'm on my way to. Oh, shit, this stop. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He almost. Hey. <laughs> Traffic just stopped. He couldn't. He couldn't stop. I said, "Let me get over just to make sure." But you see, that's what you gotta be doing in, in the city. And that's why it's held up because of these uh, these uh, C Doc guys up here. That's what the traffic slowed down all of a sudden before I seen that. Come on, let me get over. Let's go. Let's go. Make up your mind. What you gonna do? Thank you. you know, we got dog on phone. what it was, these C, C Doc guys right here that were holding up the traffic. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm on my way to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I said, well, let me turn the camera on and give you guys a video. Show you uh, the city. I showed you the city when I'm in my, uh, my Black Beauty, my Ram 1500. Now it's time to show you all in the Big Bird. How, how it looks when you're coming through in a, excuse me, in a semi. Y'all gotta forgive me guys, I just got through here and, uh, drinking my smoothie and eating a banana, so it's gonna come up just a little bit. But anyway, yeah, I'm coming into the city on my way to Milwaukee to deliver this load. It's a uh, hazmat load. I don't even know what it is, but you got a crossbone, a skull and crossbones on it, so I don't know. When I first picked it up, I think this is the first load I think I've had in a long time with still the crossbones on it, but hey, it is what it is, you know. Uh, it is, it's not quite a, a full load. It's, it's about three quarters of a load, so it's, it's jumping around back there quite a bit. So y'all see it's slam, slamming the bulk is because it, it's, it's not a full load, and so it has plenty of room to travel in there. And it's probably like a tidal wave when I do stop. But anyway, um, it's a good morning. The sun is shining. It has a little haze on it, but it's probably going to burn off here soon. I don't know how hot it's supposed to get today because it's already almost 80 degrees. So I like that all right. I like that all right. 80 degrees is cool with me. So um, once I deliver this load, like a two-hour trip back, I think. Yeah, so I should be able to make it back in town today early enough. I'm going to go to the gym and get my workout on. I stopped yesterday and uh, parked in the gym parking lot and got an hour and a half workout in down in uh, downstate Illinois. So that was pretty good. I was kind of paranoid because I had to park in the... Uh, I had to park in the mall parking lot, but the mall is pretty much closed, so I said, well, you know, they're closed, so they shouldn't have nothing to say about me being parked in that parking lot, and I just walked across the street to the gym, and got it in, but this morning I didn't get up enough time, because I knew I was going to be coming into this traffic, I was hoping, I was hoping if I, would, if I left a little later, that the traffic would have been died down by now, but y'all can see I'm coming into the traffic. Let's go downtown, baby. We got a going on for. It's like when they see when you see all these cars and you see all this traffic building up, this is when you're supposed to slow down. Get out of your get off get out your lead foot and slow down because it don't make sense to speed with all this traffic 
people be still trying to in go mode. And cars are all around you, trucks are all around you, people are changing lanes all fast and cutting you off. Just relax, man, and just get through this thing with no problems. I've already seen three accidents when I came into the city. Like, wow. People don't know how to drive all of a sudden. But it is what it is. But uh yeah guys, uh I see that video I made about uh, all men are trash. I see uh, guys are getting onto that story. Everybody's getting that story now. And, uh, they're dragging her, as my man. Uh, shout out to Minister Trap. She's being dragged. But uh, I thought she was a you know. I thought she was a conservative analyst or something like that, an anchor. But she's talking about she's not feminist. Uh, you feminist, uh, lady. You are definitely a feminist, okay? And I don't know why she chose to, to do that. You know what I mean? I'm sure she don't have that much problem with dudes. She just want to be able to control. She want to be able to control dudes, and dudes are just basically bailing on her because you can't control us, you know? The cucks may let you control them for a little while, but once they get a, once they get a, a good taste, a good uh, whiff of that peace leaf, shout out Coach Greg Adams, um, once they get a taste of that peace leaf, the smell of it, you know, guys get, it's like anything else. If you drink milk or eat eggs every day for, Four years, you're gonna be sick of eggs. You know what I mean? You go, you you gonna want something else for breakfast? Waffles, pancakes. You know what I mean? So maybe that's what her problem is because uh, she definitely a handsome lady, and the fact that she's sitting there complaining about she's having all these uh, trouble getting, uh, I guess, getting and keeping a man. I don't know, maybe getting. Just basically keeping a man because they basically bail on her or they they flake on her or uh, they make plans to stand her up or they you know they just you know they don't want to be involved with her because apparently she's too aggressive. Her, her, her handsomeness probably is the thing that gets these guys, but then once they start you know interacting with her, then they realize like man this dude. This girl is, is highly, highly toxic. She's highly aggressive. She's super assertive, right? She don't have no problem giving you her two cent. She don't know how to be coy. She don't know how to be uh, uh, submissive. And guys, take away from that that this woman, you know, you can't mold her, right? I'm sure she didn't been on the carousel. That's why she's talking this way. All being a trash. Well, no, the, 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 the 12 dudes you got, the 12 dudes that you rode the carousel with, those guys were trash. All being a trash? No, baby. Sorry. No. Okay. You went out to the probably the pretty boys. You know what I mean? The, uh, the guys that can have whoever they want and them guys are you know they into themselves can't really blame them if that's what they into that's what they into I, hey, who am I to judge and them guys don't want to make a family with you because you're too aggressive you don't have no uh, all your nurturing abilities have been stunted because you've been too busy pursuing this career and getting yourself in, in this position that you that you find yourself in and now you letting that position go to your head because men don't care about your accomplishments you're not going to use none of those things for the embedment of our lives what are you going to do so what are you going to do with that let's say you make let's say she make a half a million a year what is she going to do for her man to enhance his life monetarily I'll wait. I'll wait. OK. 
okay? You want to be able to dominate a man and you want him to basically bow down to you and worship you, then you're not deserving of it. Why would he bow down and worship you? You're not going to give him anything but the peace leaf. Well, he could get that anywhere. And some guys probably realize that and then they ghost you. And now you're wondering why you get ghosted with your half a million dollars and your little, your little nice uh, house in the suburbs. And you on TV, but guess what? We don't watch TV. So that don't mean nothing to us. We don't watch, uh, we don't sit there to have our mind programmed. Okay? We out here, you dig what I'm saying, maintaining this civilization. Fixing all the things that go broke, that get broke. We innovating. We're beautifying. We're doing all kind of stuff. But we don't have time to sit up here and watch no dog on TV. See, look at this dude. I bet you in a hurry to go no damn well. You want to risk getting, your, getting, your, getting, your, getting into an accident and then being on the side of the road for hours waiting on the freaking uh, state police. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. No signal. Old, old ass police car. got some BW in there with a hair hat on. Look at him, look at him, look at him. See, you see <laughs> this is, this shit is ridiculous, man. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> That's why I just have to slow down and just take my time. You know what I mean? I don't want to be on the side of the road. You feel me? Uh, arguing with some ninja about who did what, who hit who, who should have did what. I don't want to be on the side of the road making none of those type of uh, uh, statements. I want to just roll through this nice and easy, get to my destination, deliver my load, get back nice and easy, easy, get to the gym and get this two hour, three hour workout on you. You feel me? That's what I'm trying to do. You miss me with all the, the BS and the traffic. But this is what you gotta deal with as a truck driver, guys. You know what I mean? You gotta learn to just relax and just let the traffic do what it's gonna do. That's what I do. I let the traffic do what it's gonna do and I just kinda anticipate. I see, look, all these guys trying to get over in that lane. They should have been over there. They hold up this lane, see? Three people trying to get in over there. Well, another car trying to get in over there. Going up there to the, yeah, there you go. Go up there to the fork and try to get in there. Yeah, you get your butt out the way so it don't get, you don't get too off. Uh, Chicago, my kind of town, baby. <laughs> but anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know why women feel the need that they can just get on some platform. And just that when we do that, if we say all women, which we don't do that because we know it's not all women. This is a certain section or a certain percentage of women. It may be a high percentage, but it is, you know, uh, women out there that don't feel this way, but the general uh, mood of the society is that way because of programming. You know, have some men like, have some women like her on TV promoting this stuff. All right. Then you got the commercials where the man is the the buffoon. He's the the goofball. He's the, he can't even get his socks right. Can't even put the, put, put a, a, a 
a matching pair of socks on. Uh, he can't take the garbage out. He can't do nothing. Right? The woman is somehow just in a super posi uh, position. She knows everything. She's super mom. She got the kids in order. She got the man in order. She take care of the finances. She has a career. Right? She's making more money than him. That's all they showing in every movie. Uh, now they showing it in commercials. Uh, like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, so they've been, uh, what they call it, social engineering the population for, for years now. So now, women don't see no, re see no uh, re uh, reason to censor what they're saying in regards to me. That's why they're doing this. Because they look at it as the, the, the television has been showing me this for the last 20 years. Me and they said nothing about it. We ain't did nothing about it. We've just been letting it happen. So we even kind of walked away from television. But the women is not walking away from television. They're not. You know, we didn't we didn't migrate it over to YouTube and Big Shoot and Instagram and all the other platforms or whatever. But we, we're doing paid uh, subscriptions or whatever to things that we like. Cause I know I got a uh, UFC subscription so I get all the fights when I want. So, I mean, uh, they're not leaving TV. TV has them hooked. And anything that TV is programming with to them, they basically, uh, I guess, get it trapped in their subconscious and then they act it out. And then when you ask them questions, they get mad because they don't even know why they're doing it. So that's why I stay away from television, period. Matter of fact, it's been at least 10 years or so uh, since I really watch it. Now, if I go somewhere and I get a hotel room or something, I'll turn it on. But I'll be having YouTube playing in the background while I'm while the TV is really the TV be playing in the background while I'm watching YouTube.
get tons of time to work out. Um, and uh, probably do what I did last week, wash my clothes up, wash up my dishes, uh, pay a few bills, check out my, my mail. I'm sure my P.O. box is full of stuff. And uh, pay a few bills that need to be paid. And uh, get a haircut and shave. Probably get the truck wash. I'm going to do a little few things this weekend since I'm going to be off. Monday, I load up a load coming out of uh, Gary, Indiana, going to, where am I going? I think I'm going to Dallas. Yeah, I think I'm going to Dallas, uh, Texas. Uh, setting out to do that on Monday. So, hopefully they can find me something coming out of Texas, making good money. I make decent, that'd be decent, excuse me, a decent run going there. You know, I just I want to make sure I stay on my dispatcher to get me a decent load coming up out of there. So we shall see. But okay guys, I'll probably give you something else later. Maybe from the gym or something. Um, or if I see something interesting, I'll let you guys in on it. Hope everybody's uh, doing well. Hope everybody's being good stewards of your health. Love you guys. And I wish you more money. Peace and have